Hi, my name is Victor Bart. This is my 1965 Unimog 404 with a diesel engine and I have a PTO winch uh, on the front. And this is a Koenig uh, winch, normally rated at 3.6 ton, it's PTO driven. Only the previous owner that installed it said it was tuned up for higher limit. So who knows how strong this winch is, but at least it's motor driven and I installed a winch rope on it. And the brand of the winch rope that I chose is Selflechter, a German brand and they make really nice ropes. And the rope is rated at like 9.5 ton, 10 tons, 10 millimeter rope. Only they installed this tiny hook and I don't like it. It doesn't fit like the, the size of the Unimog and the rating of this uh, hook is 2 tons. But that is two tons for lifting, like vertical lifting. If you pull, the rating is different. And a metal piece has a rating on one on five. Sometimes with metal pieces one on four, but mostly one on five. So when they tested this hook, it's probably tested around 10 tons. So it should be enough for my Unimog, but I don't like that it is just too small. So what I tried was ordering a bigger hook with a, a special disconnect at the bottom. And the bigger version is just not deliverable. I forgot to bring this hook to my workshop today, so I'm now showing it at home. And I really wanted to have this style of hook, but I got scammed on Amazon. <laughs> Because this is the two-ton version, which is available pretty easy and also by 4x4 in Anderland. It's like 20 euros and you can buy it everywhere. But I finally found the 3.15 tons version. This is 14 centimeter, the other one was 19 centimeter. And I ordered it. It was very expensive. 80 euros. <laughs> and they sent me the wrong hook i got a refund of them luckily and i could keep this so yeah this is two ton hook and it's just too light it's nice for an atv or something but not for unimog also this is like the most cheaply made version of this style of hook not sure what i'm gonna do with it but it was a free hook what i decided is Let's go back to the original hook that was uh, with the Unimog when I bought it and I already painted it, it was just a bit rusty. But this is just a crossbe hook, like a professional hoisting hook. So it's not recovery gear or something else, it's just real hoisting hardware from like a professional shop and this is like much better quality hooks than this more like Chinese uh, hook because this one doesn't even have a brand. So this is probably just a cheap Chinese hook. And they probably have some good rating. So you can use them, but for my Unimog, I want to use this bigger version. And this one, if you look up the spec sheets, it has a working limited load of four tons. So for hoisting, it's four tons but on the test bank it's probably around 20 tons and even if you have the factor of one on four it's still 16 ton and that's more than enough for this winch i gonna install this hook and when i bought unimog it had a steel rope that was also damaged so i replaced it and then they installed this hook on it just with a smaller d shackle with a rating of 3.15 tons and that worked but you can very easily just uh, open a de-shackle and uh, run off with my hook. So I don't want to have a hook that is too easy to just take off and run away with. For the coupling between the rope and the hook there's a way better solution and that comes also out of the hoisting crane world or chain uh, loading chains and this is this coupler. And when I bought this coupler, it was around 10 euros, it was bright green and not red. So I made it red. You can also buy them in red like this, but that is crate 80 for chain work. And crate 80 is a certain rating 
for hoisting materials, but you have also crate 100, that is this coupler, and this coupler has a working limited load of 4 tons, so it breaks by 20 tons, so that's more than enough. But I still want to have it red, so I spray painted it. And the way how this works is very nice. You have a central pin, and you have two halves, and the pin goes uh, in here. And in the middle you put this uh, ring, and then you hammer this pin in so it uh, locks it. And then it is secure that you can't take it off very easily, but if you take a hammer and a pin, you can drive out this, this pin and separate them again. So if your hook is damaged in the future, you can just repair it uh, or replace it or remove the hook. So that's why I like this kind of coupling. And it's very cheap and much cheaper than official 4x4 recovery gear. Let's install the new hook on my winch. <laughs> the small winch hook is directly attached to the self-flechter rope. So you cannot uh, save this hook, so I need to cut it off. But if you talk to self Lechter on shows like Abitur Olrat and you take your rope to them, they can undo the uh, rope here, remove it from the sleeving and replace the hook for a bigger one if you need to and just redo the rope. But I like this hook like it is and I just make my own extensions on it so I can just remove this hook and throw it away because I don't have a need for a small hook like this and I can use an uh, angle grinder and just cut it off but then you can damage your rope so I will try first a different method so I don't damage my rope let's see if this cutter can cut the hook off and normally in Amsterdam they use this kind of cutters to cut off uh, bike uh, locks and steal your bike. It looks like this doesn't work. It bites into it, but it just doesn't cut it. Okay, this cutter isn't so good anymore because I just broke off a piece of the cutter here. So this is just garbage. I put tape over the winch rope to protect it, so let's cut it off with my ankle grinder. I always use a safety card, you are an idiot if you remove it. Super nice and simple to install this hook with this uh, coupler. And it's a much heavier duty setup now. And the nice thing about this hook, if you open it like this and you put tension on it, it automatically locks. I did a lot of work on the Unimog camper, so let me know in the comments would you like to see like a mid-build tour of the Unimog. Here we have my diesel heater, water tank, toilet, electrical panel. Here's now uh, my audio system stored with a subwoofer which I built. Behind there is an electric cabinet. The bed is here, so a lot of holes in it for ventilation and already an, an, like a shelf back there. So yeah, let me know. Would you like to see like a uh, tour of what I built here so far? I really like this upgrade because it's now fitting the Unimog and the proportions of the Unimog and the red and the black and the sand color is just an amazing color scheme. 
So uh, yeah, let's uh, try this uh, winch out someday to uh, pull someone out or, my, or myself, of course. Recovery care doesn't have to be like the 4x4 off-road uh, branding on it. Just go to a hoist shop and order the pieces that you need and that saves you a bit of money and this is really strong. I have seen so much stuff hoisted with this kind of hooks and this kind of couplings like concrete plates of 12 ton on a bigger version of this but on like one single pin. The self flexor rope I bought in the Netherlands by 4K4 Sint Annaland. They also have like couplers like this and some hooks. But just order a uh, rope and see what you want for hooks because there are many different options and I like this one and it just is amazing on my Unimo. If you like to support me you can make a donation on my coffee page or make a uh, PayPal donation and thanks for watching.